Good morning fellow Nigerians, how are you doing today? You are welcome to my channel, thank you very much for tuning in. I have a very important news for you this morning. Please kindly watch this video, please kindly subscribe and send to others so they can watch too. Nigeria will be in trouble if we choose wrongly in 2023. This is coming from the former Speaker of the House of Representatives, Dogara. The former Speaker of the House of Representatives, Mr. Yakub Dogara, has said with the intractable security challenge in Nigeria, some parts of the country are fast becoming a hub of instability, hot bed of instability. The federal lawmaker stated that Nigeria was at war with itself and that for the country which had reached an inflicting point to be brought back from the precipice, Nigerians must change the way they think and act. Speaking at the 10th Convocation of Achievers University or on the state on Saturday, Dogara explained that the, president, that, that the present challenges confronting the country had long been foretold, but that the warnings were fragrantly ignored. Hence, the current doldrum the country had been plunged into. He said, the southwest and southeast are fast becoming Nigeria's new zones of instability. Added to this is the long list of other protracted conflicts, including but not limited to an insurgency. In the northeast, that has left scores of people dead and millions displaced. Banditry in the northwest piracy and organized crime in the south south. And farmer heather clashes in much of the taste of the country. With an unemployment rate of over 30%, epileptic economic growth, overburdened and overwhelmed security agencies, coupled with weak institutional capacity within the security agencies, extreme inequality, come poverty and citizens alienation from the government. You need not look no further for compounding. Dogarahu also lamented that experts had linked insecurity in Nigeria to government failure or lack of capacity to deliver public services and provide for basic needs of the people, said the lapse had created a pool of frustrated people who are easily ignited by any event to be violent. Also, inequality and unfairness in appointment and distribution of public utilities create a perception of marginalization by a section of the people, especially the youth, who have a sense of this affection and or resentment. Our inability to place the youth on sustainable career paths has turned this useful democracy demography from dutiful laborers to disaffected rebels, he said. On the 2023 elections, Dogara stated that Nigeria needed a team whose pedigree matched their rhetoric for unity, peace, and progress. Our most immediate challenge now is to bring our desperate peoples together and put down our barriers. Otherwise, we cannot build. Issues of development, although absolutely important, are not the most immediate. Make no mistake, if we dare get it all wrong in 2023, we would have succeeded in hastening the days of the first four. 
the famous horsemen of the apocalypse of ourselves. Days that will be marked by conquest, war, famine, and death. May God forbid, the former speaker said. My people, this is all I have for you this morning. God bless Nigeria. Thank you.